What is the opioid theory? Oh, the opioid theory. Yeah. So, okay. We talk a lot about oxytocin as the love hormone. Okay. And that's how it's presented in the press. And we all know a lot about oxytocin. Um, I'm afraid that oxytocin isn't actually the love hormone. It is if you're a little tiny furry vole. When research into the neurochemistry of love began, they started with with studying voles. Um, And they had some monogamous voles and they had some polygamous voles. And they were trying to work out what bonded the monogamous voles together. And they found it was oxytocin. So great. And so oxytocin was presented as the love hormone. And unfortunately, oxytocin is just not powerful enough to do that. Oxytocin is quite a quite a short-lived chemical. The other thing is as we as we go through our relationships, we we grow tolerant to the oxytocin that's produced. So its effects become less and less powerful. So we began um, at Oxford to really start trying to think about, okay, this is not adequate. And we obviously turned to our closest relatives who are the primates, the monkeys and the apes, because they're much closer to us than voles are. And what bonds them, because they have very long relationships and they also have platonic friendships, is a thing called beta endorphin, which is an opioid. 